are again back at the shop. I apologize, you guys, if it's a little hard to hear me or understand me. Somehow the weather was really nice and I still managed to get super sick. So my voice is just about gone. We're just going to get back to work. Not much else to say. Still working on cutting and buffing. <laughs> So, what I'm going to be doing while Jam is standing the rest of the car is I'm taking this razor blade and finding little sags like so. And basically what I'm going to be doing is running the razor blade like this yeah. over the sag and just scraping the clear off layer by layer until it's smooth enough to hit it with 2,000 or 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 to get all the little sags out. So that's what you'll see me doing in the background of this time lapse. So let's get after it! So Justin went through this side of the car with that razor blade and took down the, the drips, the runs, the sags, and the paint. So my job now is to get the 2000 grit and go over all of those, blend them into the rest of the clear coat, then go over them with 3000, 5000 so that it matches the rest of what we did to this side of the car and hopefully you won't ever know they were there. Jam's over here working on these headlight buckets as you guys have seen. While she's doing that, I'm over here cutting buffing the side of the car with this cutting compound. It's called Pro Speed Compound from Meguiar's. This stuff's awesome. It will take out 1200 grit scratches if you use the wool pad, which is pretty insane. We have this thing sanded all the way up to 3000 and then 5000 grit in some places. So this is one part that I already cut and buffed. You can see Jam's reflection. I'm gonna get to this side right over here. Uh, this is a side that we did off camera the other night that you guys weren't able to see, unfortunately, but this is how good it looks. This is the finished product of the cut and buff. So we're going to keep working on that and get after it. Hey Justin, what? Why do you sound like Waluigi out here? Uh, cause I was buffing this and it picked uh -huh. up a rock. And uh -huh. guess where the rock went? Uh, your face. My nuts. It literally threw a rock, <laughs> and bam, right in the fucking testicle. And now I'm sitting here wallowing in pain. I wonder. Waluigi. <laughs> I wish I had the time lapse set up because that would have been hilarious. Yeah, I was buffing this and it picked up a rock away. BAM! You mean we could have slow mode a rock hitting you in the nuts? Yeah. Been, that would have been pretty funny. Could have been internet famous. But I was inside playing phone games instead of working on the car. Hey, get your ass in the gear, Jim. I'm sorry, I'm trying to beer. sip my beer. Get your ass, I didn't say get your ass into beer, I said get your ass into gear. Uh oh. The difference. Shit. Figure it out. All right, I got most of this side cut and buffed. I noticed that it was too dark in there and I couldn't see if I was getting the scratches out or not. So we had to push it out a little bit so we can use the sunlight. But it's looking really good. I gotta get the top of the back over there. And then I'm gonna move on to the engine deck lid. But after that, 
we're gonna start working on the miscellaneous little pieces like these headlight covers. This side's already starting to go back together and that's what Jam's gonna be doing. She's gonna be putting uh, that side vent there on and whatever else she finds that she wants to slap on there because this side's already cut and buffed. All right, so Justin's out here buffing the car down. So what I'm gonna do while he's working on that, on this side here, I'm going to start putting together some of the pieces on this side. These flares are only partially bolted on, so I'm going to get those on the rest of the way. I'm going to get that vent in there, um, get this flare onto the car. These guys still need to be buffed. They've been cut already, but Justin's going to have to go over them with the buffing wheel. This front bumper still needs to go on, so I'm going to try and take care of some of the little stuff while he's working on that, just so we can get this thing looking more like a car and less like a project. The next day. Back at it again. Back out here. Yeah. Day two. What are you doing, Jam? Um, trying to put all the seals back on. Have to remove all these teeny tiny little nub pieces here, put them back into the seal, and then put them back into the door. So Jam's putting all the seals and stuff on. Casey's going to start slapping random miscellaneous pieces on. I'm going to continue cut and buffing the rest of the car that we haven't got to. We've got the sides done. Uh, pretty much everything's done except for the, some random little pieces and the deck lid. So let's get after it. trim which is a lot laid out and we're gonna get ready to start scuffing it down and spraying it with what do we spray it with trim and bumper paint trim Duplicate. and bumper plate paint bumper plate Tr trim and bumper paint Plank. this is our go-to when it comes to interior and exterior bits dupa color you can never and, go wrong with yeah. dupla color oh it's really nice anyways that's what we're gonna do jams over here working on the intricate door majiggies making sure that they're all put together. What are you using there, Jam? Um, it's a fork. What? It's a fork. It's a fork. They're little, okay. It's these little prong pieces, and then the fork just happens to fit perfectly like this so that I can pop them off of there. Very innovative. I like it. All right, well, let's get to cleaning, and let's get to doing it. Bing! Right, they're all black, they're all painted. Look at these things. Looks so good. Look at that vintage sandpaper. Yes. The difference between the trim being all shitty and this color is like huge on a brand new painted car. Like when you put the old trim on there, it's all dirty, it looks yeah, it stands looks so out. Weird. Yeah. yeah, these are done. So we're gonna wait for them to dry and then we're gonna uh, put them on the car. So hell yeah. All right, guys, sorry for the abrupt ending. Jam has been pretty sick this past couple weeks, and she was getting pretty sick, so we had to leave, and we forgot to film an outro, so that's what I'm filming right now. However, we're going to be working on it tomorrow, and we'll have a, another episode coming up here pretty soon showing everything that we've done on the car, but we're getting a lot done on it, and that thing is super close to being done. So thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe, and peace out, guys. Hey.